<laughs> What's going on, guys? It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, this is a Dragon Champions video that has been requested. This is a quick primer on artifacts. Now, artifacts are weird. They are to end game progression. Uh, what runes are to normal game progression, if that makes sense. Uh, so runes, you generally speaking, will power through a character, figure out what type of character they are, potency, damage, control, etc., etc., and then rune them out accordingly. And the most important thing about runes is, uh, first, in the early game, you're really looking to hit the right sets up to get the biggest boost, the, the armor if they're a tank, the crit chance if they're a primary crit damage dealer, tenacity, potency for characters that stick buffs and debuffs or to avoid them speed for most characters right like speed's not a bad thing on anybody really but it's all about like the chess game you know where the characters go and as you can see here i have my tromgar set up for a little bit of potency because of his counter attack being able to stun characters and a lot a bit of, of armor you know and of course the the progression of runes is hey this one is a good rune it's blue it's four dots you know, this is better than maybe a green rune with, with three dots or a blue rune with four dots. And of course, gold runes are generally speaking better. Now, I'm not going to go into more runes on this. We've already done a video on that. I'll link it somewhere here. But that's the general idea. So as you progress, you're going to want better runes with better RNG rolls on them so that you can be better at what you're doing. Take that exact same concept and now we can talk about artifacts. So the first thing that people see when they see an artifact is they see uh, this ability right here. This ability is icing on the cake. This is the deep fried Oreo of an artifact. This is the taking something good and making it better. If for some reason you end up with an artifact that has uh, good stats and an ability that works very well with the character you're putting it on, aces absolutely phenomenal lucky you that's the end goal so for example if i want to build tromgar for potency or for survivability there are plenty of artifacts specific to tromgar as we run around that you'll be able to find and then utilize um find one in like a second i have a ton of these laying around but ultimately that's what the point of of artifacts are to get one that has a very high probability of doing something positive for the player you're using. Oh, maybe I have it on somebody else. Anyway, uh, generally speaking, the this ability is great. And they are slightly random. There tends to be a pool. For example, this one increases the critical you know, damage from Zera. Same thing here. As you go up, you might find one that's a little bit better. Uh, this is a great example. This... These are the exact same piece, Medal of the Loner, which is something that Major Shot uses. This one has a chance to apply Ability Block. This one is survivable. They're kind of rare rolls on them. That's great. I want to tell you that because that's the thing you should be looking out for last. That is the, that is the icing on the cake of an artifact. The major thing you should look for in an artifact is right here. Now, every single artifact has, generally speaking... Uh, an offensive stat and a defensive stat and you know we're not going to get into semantics about what qualifies as an offense or defense crit is obviously offensive tenacity is obviously defensive you know lifesteal can be kind of a little bit of both Th there's a whole bunch of, of points here this one is offensive stat in damage and defensive stat in health this is what you're looking for in the artifacts you are looking to make your artifacts especially the second you can start putting them on as an extension of your runes to maximize the value of whatever your character is doing. So again, looking at my Tromgar, I have a 5% increase in potency and a 5% increase in lifesteal. Since the orcs are led by Zera and get a lot of lifesteal through play, uh, increasing the amount of lifesteal and increasing the amount of potency is helping what I'm trying to do with Tromgar. Now, at some point in the future, I might not need the potency on Tromgar. I might decide... I just want him to be tankier. I want him to move up. At that point, I can find maybe one that has a little bit more health, maybe one that has potency and health, any artifact. At that point, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these stats. And the other thing to notice is obviously the star. Now, 
when you rank up an artifact, two things happen, or there's two ways realistically to rank up an artifact. The first is increase the level. Uh, that's it. This is kind of an extension of that. You can use other artifacts to allow you to increase the level further, but that's all this does. You know, this is main purpose is to increase the level. So I can go ahead, increase the level, and it can tell you one level increases it by a small amount. Generally, on your best team or the best characters you use, you want to have this artifact on them at the strongest level, mainly because once you build up an artifact, it's not gone. You can move it to somebody else. Example being, once this artifact is done, once I find a better artifact for Tromgar, this doesn't get thrown out or I don't have to throw it out. I can just go ahead and move it to somebody else who can benefit from potency and lifesteal if there happens to be. For example, off the top of my head maybe I could put it on, like, Garrett. You know, if I wanted a little bit of lifesteal, but I really wanted his potency to go through the roof. Um, that's kind of how it's going to work out. The last, thing, or the second thing you can do is you can star up the artifact. Now, that you can use the special currency to, or any duplicates of the exact same type. That increases the star. When you increase the star of the artifact, the range, as you can see, goes up. So right now, my potency and my lifesteal maxes at 9%. Once I put another star on it, as I level it up, it'll go up to 18, and then I believe it's it's 30 or something. I don't remember the exact detail on what a 4-5 star is because I haven't had one in a while or I haven't looked at uh, those stats in a while. So the idea is when you get a really good artifact, those are the ones you want to start starring up. This is a good enough artifact. Uh, the stats on it are great. You can temporarily use them, but generally speaking, any artifact that's under purple, you don't have to treat as if it's uh, relevant to your growth in the game. Just use it for the stat increase. Feel free to upgrade it, and of course, you can always later dump it into another artifact of similar value. So if I decide that I want to upgrade this artifact right here, if I ever really just want to use this stat into another artifact, I can always select it, like this one, throw it into another artifact, and I'll get some percentage of the resources I've spent back into whichever one I'm trying to upgrade now. That's the basics of artifacts. You're just using them as a synopsis. You're just using them as an extension of your character. So moving to the next character, this is one for Zera. Uh, this is not a great artifact on Zera, as a matter of fact, and that's why I wanted to show it, because I have probably better ones. Critical chance is is something I'm looking for on Zera, uh, which could be good. The only reason I use this is, like I said, it already had this buff on there. So, generally speaking, if I found one that was higher, I might want this stronger, but this is a green artifact. It's an er early artifact. I'm not worried about it. Last thing I want to talk about in artifacts is actually something pretty cool. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to buy anything. Thank you. Where is... Shop. As you're going out and picking up extra artifacts, whether you be picking them up from, you know, battlegrounds as you are interested in, in, in building them out later on after you've picked up all the characters you're interested in, etc. Or as you randomly pull them from chests, artifacts... Uh, rarities go up so the more artifact chests I open the higher the chance of pulling a good artifact is now if you want to spend a lot of money uh, or deep dragon coins and dump into this to raise the rank up you're welcome to uh, as you notice right now it's a three percent chance when I level it up it'll I think it goes to five percent uh, and all of the other ones lose a little bit more. So it starts from the bottom. It starts where these numbers go down. These numbers go up. Blah, 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 blah. You know how it works. Uh, as you progress more and more, it'll become easier for you to get better artifacts. Which is why it's not a huge priority for you as a player to, to get all these artifacts done now. Just use what you have and don't feel bad about investing because... This game is played in multiple stages. The game is played in what you need now to progress and what you're going to need later. Don't feel like it's a waste if you're using a green artifact like you saw I had on Zera or a blue artifact like I have on probably some of my goblins right now so I can be able to do the, the legendary events. But that's pretty much everything about artifacts in a nutshell. Don't panic. They are very important. 
uh, to the game, but look at them as an extension of your stats at the beginning of the game. And as you progress through the game, as you find that there's more difficult things, you're doing some battlegrounds, you want to have a little bit of an edge, that's when you can start focusing on artifacts. I still don't think it's important at the very beginning of the game for you to worry too much about them because you're still building out your roster, making sure you get the legendaries you need, etc., etc., and of course, just progressing. I would start worrying dramatically about artifacts once you've reached level cap, once you're progressing your characters, and once you start playing in very hard versions of Battlegrounds, etc., etc. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, any other things you want to cover, please comment below and let me know. Uh, I have some videos, which obviously I've linked before, uh, and now I'm going to have access to the test server, so I'm going to be showing a little bit more play for newer characters and, and theories I might uh, come up with at endgame play, which is something that I can't do right now because... I'm not an end game, right? So thank you guys so much for all your help. Uh, comment below, let me know what you're thinking. Have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I will catch you later.